Hey guys, how you doing? It's Tuesday, January 26th, 26, 2011. Episode 13 of logging it up, you know. Uh, got a new poster. Well, actually, I didn't. My roommate picked it up. Inception, good movie. Christopher Nolan didn't get nominated. No big deal, I don't care. Doesn't sit well with me. Hope you're all still enjoying the new year. I'm getting ready to do another answer show, you know, the ask column thing. So keep leaving your questions, please, to the Facebook page and my YouTube, anything. Anything with a question mark is eligible, so do that. If you don't, I don't make episodes, and you all seem not to like that, and you complain a lot, and I don't really understand. In other news that's very important that you should all care about, I, I lost my debit card. Yep, I just lost it. I up and didn't, I can't find it. It's nowhere. Not anywhere. Yeah, I know, right? A lot. Oh my god, OMFG, uh, Raffle Copter, LOL. Yeah, I know, right? Not only am I out of luck for my spring semester college books, now some Yahoo with a sock for a hat just got his big break. <laughs> and on top of all that, you know that thing where you're waiting for the bus? Because you said you were going to get a job in a few weeks, you just wanted to wait till you land on your feet, but then a few weeks turned into a few years, and suddenly your bank account is in the single digits, which is really going to cause some problems for that homeless sockhead guy, as it turns out. Anyway, then you have to take public transit, which is both emotionally and sometimes physically crippling. And anyway, then while you're waiting for the bus, another car drives by and catapults that watery slush of mess all over you. Yeah, that actually happened to me. I didn't even think that was actually possible. I thought the only way that was possible was in bad romantic comedies and Disney movies. Oh, the wonders of public transit. Taxpayer dollars at work to make sure you have the worst experience possible. No, seriously, any sort of good mood or vibe you have will be completely killed upon entering a bus. First off, it smells like cat food and what I imagine Amy Winehouse's breath to be like. Not unbearable, but just generally unpleasant. Like, you just don't want to smell it. Like, you're not gonna die, but if you could choose a different smell, you would. And then you start to notice the people on the bus, yeah, if you could call them people, let's just say they make Jerry Springer's best white trash look like royalty. And someone is always guaranteed to ask you some crazy-ass question with no relevance to a bus. Excuse me. Huh? Is this the stop for Six Flags? No. Omaha? Not, not even close. <clears throat> Are they selling funnel cakes down there? No, you're not. You ain't, you ain't know what kind of things are going to be going on down there and back in the slums again. Sir, man. please stop. Even they, they stop. I don't even, I can't they're understand they're what you're saying. I know. truly Dude, cannot. And I'm like, so dead. Wow. Grab me in the middle of night. Ah, oh, you gotta get the f*** off this bus. But those are just some of my awesome experiences on the bus. It's a really great place to be. I'm really happy to be a part of it. And the- Really? Really, Fridge? Just gonna make the noise? Interrupt flogging it up? Keeping everyone waiting? No, it's fine. No, I'll wait till you're done. Don't worry. Fridge. I don't even like cold drinks. That's your vlog for today. As always, leave me a comment. Yellow button to get more of me. Just push it. Like what you see? I love you guys, you're great, well you're really more okay than just great, but I like you. Have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you next week, ish. Thanks for watching, all 80 of you, but I'm not complaining, no, why would, why would I do that? <laughs> Are you like me now?